hello everybody uh, today i'm going to show you about player health you can see when lion attack player lose health so let's start please subscribe my channel for more tutorial so here is our project i use my third person character we need to create some variable uh, again you can use any character you want it doesn't matter so i'm creating three variable uh, first should be health uh, second should be match health and the third should be death too i have a death uh, variable so i need to create another one so the health should be float variable type and math health also should be float compile and save i give 100 value to math health now i create a, a event begin play i add my health here and i add math health into my health compile and save now i need to create a umg so i create a widget blueprint i name it health ui and then you can name whatever you want open it now progress bar we can see our health in progress bar so 520 and yeah set a line here uh, i need to change the color i like it red you know health suit in red compile and save when our percentage right rise health will lose its value or gain so compile and save on percentage create a binding so get player character and class to our third person character uh, pure make it pure cast now search our health and match health which we created uh, earlier now divided it and add to return value that's it we are done compile and save uh, close now create a widget healthy y and add it with pivot compile and serve now we need to create a custom event uh, create a custom event custom event i name it what can i name it lose health or health health i think lose health uh, suit more yes lose health right now get health and oil minus float minus float make it straight uh, health uh, set to set the health and give the value 10 when we hit by lion or something else we will uh, we'll lose uh, 10 value from our health and if our health goes under 0 or equal to 0 uh, we will die so, so set a branch and do once because i want to die one time and set the death to true now get the mesh and uh, simulate uh, 
uh, set all bodies uh, simulate physics make it true add and now set collision uh, collision should be there should be no collision and now create capsule component and set no collision just copy it add it to just target now uh, surge get player controller and add uh, disable move disable input we want to disable the input and target should be player controller now you see we have two cameras uh, if you don't understand you can see my previous tutorial this is not mandatory we have two cameras so when we die uh, our camera will change so follow camera uh, set active uh, this should be false and get camera which we add later and copy set active and it should be true so when we will die we our camera will change now play sound 2d and add scream sound i have a scream sound uh, if you don't watch my previous tutorial you will not understand you can add any sound you want yes you can hear the sound so add a delay uh, 0.5 Uh, create widget I have a death widget add to viewport uh, get player controller and uh, get player controller and set show mouse cursor I want to show mouse cursor when our player die because there is a widget I will show after death so I created widget before death widget just a simple background uh, a text and two button nothing fancy you can create your own yes just uh, two button and i just open a level if i want to play or if i want to quit the game uh, like if i want to change the level name here is a, i have a level animal and npc copy it and paste it so when i die and i uh, just uh, uh, select play button i will open the level so compile and save now i have to I'll go into our task i should add a task here when our player die uh, no need to attack so death to add a at a branch uh, condition is deck 2 Oops. when it's false attack and when we our player die they are uh, finish execution no need to attack compile and save done now we have one more thing we have to set up our uh, attack in player so select the lion open it uh, we should go to the skeleton we should add we should add two circlets I already have two circlets on uh, both arms I just uh, delete it you just uh, select your uh, position here is the align pawn and add a socket uh, you can just right click and add a socket so add a socket i name it at a right at a right uh, sound perfect and 
add another socket on uh, left pawn and attach left you can name or whatever you like it does not matter so add a box collision inside our mesh and add a socket I choose at a right and box extent I select 10 7 7 so when uh, lion pawn touch the character uh, our character will lose health so on a component be then overlap cast to our third person character cast it third person character now we can play a sound like uh, our uh, player is screaming so play sound today and I select uh, a scream 3 and compile save mm. and I, I have to select the lose lose health uh, custom event and add it uh, compile and save uh, I think we are done when our lion attack us we will lose our health and we will die eventually uh, here is a change uh, delete it uh, on mesh uh, collision and select a character movement and disable movement just add it here yes compile and save uh, now we are done save everything uh, if we play a lion will roam randomly when lion see us they will attack us and we will lose health and if we lose all health we will die let's see what happens we will lose health and we will die now if lion attack one more if we go further lion will randomly Ah, we die. That's it for today, bye.